There are three levels of leadership. This is particularly relevant for you if you're a business owner, but it's also important if you're working in an organization and you have a leadership role. The first level of leadership is organizational leadership. This is looking at leadership through the lens of the organization. What is the vision, the direction, the values, the mission, the purpose? This is a very top view perspective when it comes to leadership. The second level of leadership is team leadership. Most of the time, when we think about leadership, we're thinking about team leadership. Are you inspiring and motivating your team every single day? Are you helping them to deliver the best work they can? Are they communicating effectively? This is the second level of leadership. And the third level is my favorite level. It's self-leadership. How do you manage yourself? How do you manage your time, your energy, your focus, your discipline? And this is often the part of leadership that we forget when we're in a high leadership role in a company, for example. Now, if we look at this from the bottom up, self-leadership comes first. You need to first understand what motivates you to show up every single day. How are you managing effectively your time and your energy and your discipline? Because if you don't have this inner integrity, if you're not clear on what's important for you and if you're not role modeling essential key behaviors, then you will lose credibility in front of your team, in front of the organization if you're working in a company. And so that's why self-leadership is the first fundamental level. A few key important aspects here. To enhance your self-leadership, you first need to assess where are you. For this, you can look at five core pillars. The first one is time management. How are you managing and prioritizing all of your activities? If you're not clear on how to manage your time effectively, then how can you delegate other responsibilities to people on your team? Time management. The second aspect is energy management. This is one that's often forgotten and one of my absolute favorite pillars because if you're managing your energy even more than your time, then you can show up with greater energy and inspire other people to also feel energized, motivated every single day. The third pillar, self-discipline. For those of you who know my work, you know that I work in collaboration with Giovanni Dinsman, the author of Mindful Self-Discipline, and self-discipline is the bedrock of self-leadership. It's you showing congruency with your core principles, with what's important for you, with your core values. Self-discipline is an absolute must. The fourth pillar is focus. As the focus be, focus is something I particularly love, and it's how are you managing those day-to-day -day distractions? Are you able to do deep work and totally focus on one single task at a time? And the fifth pillar is self-awareness. What are you doing every single day to increase your self-awareness and to start to see more accurately your current patterns of thinking, your current patterns of emotion, but also of behaviors? So let's recap these five pillars of self-leadership. Time management, energy management, self-discipline, focus, and self-awareness. If you want to boost your self-leadership, start to evaluate yourself every single week on these five pillars and see how are you progressing? Do you see an improvement from week to week? And what small action can you put in place to increase each pillar? So this was for the first level, self-leadership. The second level is team leadership. Once you're constantly progressing on your self-leadership, you can start to look at how to effectively lead your team. For this, check in how is each person doing individually and how are they doing as a group? Because team leadership is as much about leading each individual person to deliver their utter best but also about ensuring that as a team, there's a cohesion, there's a sense of solidarity, and everyone is, it, is motivated towards the same goal. For this, one-on-ones regularly with the different team members is an absolute must, and checking overall in the group if you notice any conflict, any tension, and any conversations that need to be had and that are being pushed under the carpet. We want to address 
all the hidden areas, no elephants in the room. We want to bring clarity to all the topics that are maybe being avoided. This is where the leader really plays a key role because as a team, it's very easy to avoid those hard topics and the leader comes in and says, hey, we haven't been looking at this recently. This is important, how you're all dealing with this situation at the moment. This is a second level of leadership. And the third level of leadership, which is that more overview perspective from a business and organizational perspective, how are you providing clarity on the vision, on the goals? Are you setting for the team and for the organization clear achievable goals, but also motivating goals? Are the values clear and are they lived every single day? Not just words put on a piece of paper, but values that are really represented in behaviors. If all three levels of leadership, self-leadership, team leadership, and organizational business leadership are aligned, are clear, and are things that you're constantly working on developing, then you will set an example as a leader and you will be a role model for people in your team and organization, but also you will feel inspired to show up each day because you know that you're making progress on what is important for you and important in the business. Hope this episode was useful for you. Hope that you start progressing and seeing huge results as a leader. Thank you so much for tuning in.